Hello everyone, I give it a hand, welcome back to Let's Play Metroid. With, like, random teeth on the ceiling that don't seem to be doing a whole lot. Okay. Let's get, let's, let's just get out of the, like, puce lava. I don't know why there's pews lava over here, but hey, I'm at a good plan. Okay, green fire. There's bug things in here already. There's nothing over there. Actually, no, I don't think I want to go in this one. I want to go to the bottom one here, and I think this is just one giant frickin' room. It just kind of never stops. Why was it there in such a dastardly fashion? I am not going to freaking die here. Okay, we reached a room. Oh, I guess I'm not supposed to go this way. Screw that. Alright, see you in a bit. Good, good time for me to explain that. Uh, you do not want to, like, stay in Morph Ball, because there I was able to roll out of the wall, but I've had times where I was just kind of stuck in the Morph Ball forever. Like, for all eternity, and there was nothing I could do about it. But yeah, uh, back to your regularly scheduled, uh, crappy fanfic reading. Hey! Everyone laughed except 111 Cemetery really for Earth. <laughs> Daryl! <laughs> Screw reading that name, Daryl! <laughs> that damn name! We didn't think the joke was very funny. Okay, 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 it's Tier One's turn, everyone agreed. I don't correct, Tier One. <laughs> uh, I choose truth. Okay, we get to ask him one question. Send us a reminder to Tier One. What is your deepest, darkest secret? Tier One looks nervously. I like someone in this room. That statement brought a, a lot of commotion because everyone wanted to know who T1 liked, except Daryl, who was completely uninterested. Is it Samus? Is it Mandy? Is it Daryl? 
Actually, T1 wrapped his arm around Helen, who was sitting next to him, and in the cave, uh, her very very big kids, everyone cheered and clapped their hands, except for Daryl, who was on the stairs, pouring herself a glass of... Oh, oh, downstairs. I was... What? <laughs> Why would you be pouring her your glass of lemonade <laughs> on the stairs? <laughs> Helen. Oh. Helen, Tier 1 said after they were done kissing, I've always loved you since I met you, but I was too afraid to tell you. Tier 1, I love you too. Helen confirmed. <laughs> Helen the smash. <laughs> and the two lovebirds kissed again and again until everyone told them to stop. Except for Daryl, who wasn't back from getting soda yet. What was lemonade? What was lemonade? <laughs> Sweet lemonade, okay. So. Okay, Tier 1 chanted, let's finish the game. Oh god. What? What? Oh, okay. So sleepover surprises part one, and now uh, and now we go to chapter three. Samus is pregnant. Pregnant. I like pregnant better. Samus and Ridley have been going out for six months now. It was a coincidence, considering that most teenage relationships exist for two months, according to the video. What video? Everyone was really surprised because they hadn't expected the relationship to last so long. Not even Samus or Ry or Ridley <laughs> thought it would last so long, and that says things. L lowing? Oh, lowing so long, and that says things. Right now, Samus and Ridley were back at Ridley's house. Ridley's parents weren't home because of a business trip, and Samsu <laughs> didn't have to be home until one o'clock. Right now, it was only 11.30. They were on the couch and it was quiet. <laughs> so, Samus, what do you think of, uh, world politics? Ridley made conversely. Rid world politics? <laughs> Ridley, I don't care about stuff like that. Or things like that. Or care about things like that. They've been together for a month and Ridley doesn't notice. <laughs> or like, how long was it? Half a year? <laughs> And Ridley doesn't notice she doesn't care for politics. Ah! Ridley admit it. <laughs> Let's keep making that noise. Ah! <laughs> there was the kind of silence that happens when people don't know what to say to each other in a relationship, but Ridley had something on his mind. Ah! Kama, 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 <laughs> Samus! Ridley approached. Yes, Ridley? Samus question answered. <laughs> <laughs> question answered! What? <laughs> what? What is this? <laughs> you know how well we've been going out for a long time, longer than average, and well. I agree. Samus nodded with a K. Well, you know how, uh, you see, Ridley seemed unholy! <laughs> what? Ridley does seem kind of unholy, yeah. <laughs> Ridley, I understand what you mean. Samus understood. Samus, are you sure about? Ridley started, but it was too late. It started as an instant kiss, but it ended up being much more they could bargain for. You know what surprised me? Ridley wasn't too big. <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> the next morning, Samus wasn't sure where she was. Slash. And then she remembered she was at Ridley's house. She didn't notice she was in Ridley's bed. And then she noticed that she was naked. Ah! Samus woke up the whole neighborhood. Uh, I mean, I mean, neighborhood. <laughs> Samus, is something wrong? Ridley noticed as he woke up. up. Oh no! He firstly exclaims. Ridley, what? What if? Samus worried. Ridley was cool, Obi, and didn't lose his cool. No, it's okay. My friend told me it can't happen the first time, so never worry. It's okay. Ridley ascertained. I think Ridley might be wrong, considering the chapter title. Ah, uh, okay. <coughs> wow, that was quite possibly the longest instance of me doing that yet. But it was all because I just kind of didn't want to die. I'm still at a small risk of dying here.
but I should be good because energy tank. Yeah, that red door is on the other side of that wall where I was supposed to jump on with the other things. Also, uh, yeah, that's kind of a thing here. So now we have five energy tanks, and we can just kind of move on now. There is one more missile expansion to get in this area. And one more energy tank. And of course at the boss that you have to find okay. This jump I seriously do not know how you make this jump. I'm gonna try. Huh? Nope. So you know what? Like I re like I really don't feel like going all the way back there. So you know what? Encore of more of this, so I'll see you in a bit. Seamus tried to convince herself. Seamus. After all, who doesn't think it could go happen after just one time? Unfortunately, they were dead wrong. Large number of ones. It had been some weeks and Samus was at Helen's house. Mandy and Daryl were there too. It was morning and Samus was feeling a little sick. Problem was, everyone was healthy, and her friends and family, so it wasn't like a, a cold or, or that cholera. What's that? Uh, I don't think it is something like that. I don't think it can be compared to the cold. I don't exactly know what it is, but it just doesn't sound like it would be. Whatever. <laughs> something was up, and Helen was about ready to explode. Oh my. Samus, I think we have an emergency. Helen imploded. Whoa! <laughs> oh. Poor Helen. Uh, oh, oh, geez. I think, I, think, I think that does sound like an emergency. Okay, <laughs> okay, calm down. Mandy controlled. She wasn't the kind of girls who could keep a cool and disaster. Samus, we're all worried, but there's only one way to oh, be sure. Mandy implied, Mandy. Implied? What do you mean? <laughs> Samus looked at her feet. Well, where do I get one of those? Samus speculated. Daryl broke the silence. I'm oh, sorry. I have one. Daryl made known. She reached in her black handbag and picked up a small wrapper with something in it. Everyone was shrouded in disbelief. Shrouded, I say. Uh. Oh god, I forget what 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 was she had. Daryl, why do you have a pregnancy test in your pocket? Pregnancy. Everyone except Darrow thought it was a reasonable question. Helen, oh, Helen posed, by the way. <laughs> Darrow rolled her eyes. Ah, oh, there we go. Also, I, f I realized how fitting it is that these, uh, these, sh like, shafts are, like, part of the Ridley area. Because they really are too big. Because, oh my gosh. Do 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 Ah, I should have seen that coming because the enemy crawls through the floor there. But for all I knew, like that wasn't error. But oh well. All right, let's go. Wee. energy and then like five more tanks so yeah there's absolutely no reason for me to worry and there he is really that's what they call too big these days so Ridley uh I like how when you shoot him, he just kind of becomes cyan for no reason. Oh, are you gonna die? Well, I killed Ridley. 
semi-unceremoniously. Let's shoot open this purple door, which is slightly fabulous. Because in here is candy, and also walkable lava for no reason, and an energy tank. And we officially got everything from the Ridley area, so we can officially just get out of here. Okay, that was fun. I like how the Ridley boss in general is very anticlimactic. Also, uh, you may have noticed that we got an inc increase in missiles. That is because I believe every single one of the bo or, uh, like the two big bosses, or the two bosses in general, uh, they give you an additional 75 missiles. I don't think there's anything that tells you this, like that they did, that tells you that they do, but they do. They just kind of give you 75 missiles for kind of no reason. I don't know why they really do that. Yay! I need I need Avast to shut up. Whether or not my virus database has been updated. Let me fix that. I really hope you couldn't hear that, because that was really annoying. And it turns out that the woman who like recorded that like that message, it was in the audience and is now very offended. In which case I did not mean I, I did not mean that personally. Alright, come on. So many multi violas. It's kind of ridiculous. Oh, and this one chasing me. I can't destroy it for some reason. Oh. Okay. Let's get out of here. Hopefully I can make it to Crate, I don't actually know if I will be able to, but I'm gonna try. Uh, I think I'm gonna ignore that door. Not a whole lot to say here, just me kind of getting back out of Ridley. Also, yeah, if this whole area is Ridley, he really is too big for Smash Lol. Oh well. like shafts where you have to climb up using those blocks like appearing and disappearing below you I think I think the crate area has one of those and I really hate it they really just are just the worst things <laughs> No, climbing up this entire shaft for the, like, fourth time. I don't actually know if it's the fourth time, I didn't count. I know we've climbed it up at least twice before, though. Is it this? Actually, no, this is where you get the high jump, isn't it? Okay, come on. I 
guess we're not gonna make it to the uh, crate. Ah, uh, not at that rate, we're not. And we've already reached 20 minutes, so... Should probably stop. Uh, you know what? I'll just meet you back in, uh... In that room where we got the energy tank and Brinstar, so... See you there!